All right, so tonight was pretty awesome. Long story short, everyone brought all kinds of stuff. The Atari Jaguar Sega with you know, the 16-bit Sega that had the 32X. Everyone just brought all these you know, different consoles and just things that are rare to find. It's like Japanese uh, system that was just like it seemed like a essentially a, like a PC basically. I ended up doing a uh, speed run of Mega Man, the original Mega Man, uh, using the Buster only, so the basic weapon in the game, not using any uh, specials that you get for beating the bosses which I got this for. Um, I did it an hour and 20, just to basically prove that I could and so people could watch and see how I was doing. All in all, it was a really solid night. Definitely enjoyable. Hey, what's going on guys? This is Johnny Mono here at uh, Gaming Zone out in Tempe, Arizona. We're having another uh, retro night. Got... Oh yeah! <laughs> so I got a bunch of people together, we played some retro games, played some uh, old school NES, played some Neo Geo. Got to experience, uh, I believe it was called the uh, X6800. This crazy Japanese computer that they use to actually create Street Fighter 2 on. The thing has arcade perfect graphics, it's wonderful. I've never heard of it, I learned a lot tonight. Uh, get to get, take home first place on Mario Kart Double Dash. Me and my partner tore it up out there on the tracks. It's a fierce competition, but it was awesome. So I uh, hope to see you guys next time here at uh, Gaming Zone in Tempe. Hey guys, Chris the Atari Creep here, and I am once again in Tempe, Arizona at the Gaming Zone. We hosted our second retro night here, and it was as much a success as the last time, if not even more. I got here roughly about 4.30, and the place was all ready, rocking. Uh, me personally, I played uh, the death and return of Superman most of the night, and the reason is because we decided to do something different this time. We had people put their name on a list and write down the game that they wanted to beat tonight at Retro Night. And um, if they did so, the store themselves were going to give out prizes and what have you. So I pretty much rocked on that most of the night, not paying attention to the goings on. But we all had a blast, and uh, it was a really great turnout. If you weren't here, you missed out on a real fun time. But we do plan on doing it regularly here, probably in the next month or two. So uh, keep tuned in, and we'll let you know. So, guys, until next time, this is Atari Creep screaming out saying, Alright guys, for everyone that missed today's Retro Night, I gotta say it was amazing. We saw someone beat Speedrun Mega Man 1 NES, Buster only. Did it in an hour and 22 minutes. Uh, we're getting to the point where we're actually getting Speedrun to sing here. We saw a guy Speedrun Ninja Game 2, uh, Castlevania Simon's Quest. Uh, the highlight of the night, we had Smash Brothers Tournament. I, unfortunately, I didn't do that good, but I'll get there. Today we also released our new shirt called The Retro Never Dies. It was a real success. Hopefully you guys can see them before we're sold out. We also did Mario Kart Double Dash Tournament. We had 14 players. It was amazing. You guys you guys really need to check us out. Next, Stay tuned for our next Retro Night. Uh, we'll keep you guys posted on our, on our Facebook. And see you guys next time.